Hey hello friends. In this video we are going to solve one more interview question which is shared by Priya. If you are preparing for interview feel free to follow us on LinkedIn. So now let's look into the problem. So the problem is we have an object which has key value pairs. And from this object we have to create a new object. The new object should contain all the keys in upper case. So this is the problem. Here there is a solution which is given but this solution is not scalable because this is a static solution consider in the future i am going to add 100 more key value pairs inside this object now i have to manually add all those key value pairs here as well so i might end up doing some mistakes also so that's why this is not a scalable solution in any interview or any real time project when you are working whenever we try to solve a problem it should be generic instead of creating a static solution so that's where to create a dynamic solution for this problem we can do it with different ways we are going to explore one by one here i have created a function which takes an object and we have to implement our solution over here so the problem here is we have to convert this keys into upper case so we have to go through each key value pairs and get the key and we have to convert into upper case right so to loop through an object we can use multiple methods out of that one is object dot keys object dot keys will take an object as argument and it returns array of keys of that object for example if i pass this object and when i get the keys array okay so i'll just console it you can see it over here right so we got all the keys of this object and now we can go through this keys and then convert it into upper case by using dot to upper case now let's go through the each elements inside this array i am going to use object dot map and it's going to be keys as a first argument and i can just console the key dot to upper case okay so now we are getting this keys and we are converting into upper case now we have to add this to another object so for that i'm going to create a new object the variable name should be different so i'm going to create new object and on top of this new object i'm going to add this key okay and to access the value of this particular key we have to give obj of the key right and now we can console the new object right so we got the expected output here so this is one way of doing thing and another way we have is for in loop So when we use for in loop this in means index right if we are passing an array it is going to give the index from 0 1 2 until the length minus one of the array and if you are passing an object it is going to give us the keys of an object okay so i'll create a new object outside which is going to be empty and also we can assign this key dot to upper case and the value is going to be obj of key and we can console this new object and also we can return the new object from this method and now also we got the expected output so there is one more way we can do by using object dot entries and from entries so this object dot entries method will take an object and it is going to give us two dimension array so the array's first element will be key and the second element will be the value. So first let me console what is there in this entries. So you can see it is a two dimension array and each array value is going to contain the key and value. Now we can go through each element and we can convert first element that array to uppercase because the first element is the key, right? Item of 0 dot to uppercase. So we are just converting but we have to return a new array so that 
the map will create one more array and it will add it inside okay so now the temporary output is going to be another two dimension array and it is going to contain key and the value key and the value key and the value so here you can see the key is in uppercase right to convert a two dimension array into an object we can use object dot from entries and we can pass the two dimension array and it will give us the final result okay so now also we got the desired output i hope this video was helpful if you enjoy this video give it a like feel free to follow me on linkedin and also subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and keep supporting this channel thank you